In the news this week, we'll hear about the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services coverage determination on lung cancer screenings, the FDA's action on trebectadin, and another good reason to drink coffee. These stories and more start right now on OncLive News Network. Hello and welcome. I'm Laura Jones. And I'm Justin Gallagher. First, effective immediately, Medicare will cover lung cancer screenings with low-dose CT scans. Medicare beneficiaries will be eligible for annual screenings if they meet the age, smoking, and referral criteria. This decision has been met with some backlash from physicians who are concerned about screening processes that may put patients at risk for unnecessary radiation and false positive results. Nonetheless, Dr. Patrick Conway, Chief Medical Officer and Deputy Administrator for Innovation and Quality at the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, explains in a press release, this is the first time that Medicare has covered lung cancer screening. We believe this final decision strikes an appropriate balance between providing access to this important preventive service and ensuring to the best extent possible that Medicare beneficiaries receive maximum benefit from a lung cancer screening program. The FDA has granted priority review for trebectadin for the treatment of patients with advanced soft tissue sarcomas. Priority review indicates that a final FDA decision is expected within the next six months. Janssen submitted a new drug application for trebectadin in November of last year. This submission was based on an open-label, multi-center phase three trial which is comparing trebectadin with dicarbazine in over 500 patients with sarcomas that are refractory to prior anthracycline treatments. The primary outcome measure of the trial is overall survival. Secondary outcome measures include progression-free survival, objective response rate, time to progression, duration of response, and safety. Data from the trial will be reported at a later date. Previously reported results from phase two trials with trebectadin demonstrated survival benefits. You may be like thousands of people across the world who love their daily cup of coffee. Well, now women have another good reason to imbibe. Dr. Melissa Merritt from Imperial College London led a study assessing the link between coffee and endometrial cancer. Merritt and her team reviewed dietary questionnaires from nearly 3,000 women with endometrial cancer who had participated in either the European Perspective Investigation into Cancer and Nutrition Study or the Nurses' Health Study. They examined the association between 84 foods and nutrients and the risk of endometrial cancer. As published in the February 2015 issue of Cancer Epidemiology, Biomarkers and Prevention, the analyses from both studies showed that three to four cups of coffee daily reduce endometrial cancer risk by up to 19%. The researchers recommend that additional studies should strive to confirm these findings and to examine the mechanisms linking coffee intake to endometrial cancer risk in order to develop related prevention strategies. Last week, Laura shared the exciting news about the FDA approval of palbociclib for patients with breast cancer. This week, we are pleased to share a series of interviews conducted with Dr. Richard Finn from UCLA, who elaborates on the trial findings and use of this newly approved agent. To view these segments, please visit the website on your screen. Finally this week, we would like to highlight our OncLive Insights program, Identifying EGFR Mutations in NSCLC and Optimizing Therapy. Doctors Leisha Sequist, Corey Langer, and Mark Szynski share pertinent information about the development and use of TKIs in patients with EGFR mutant non-small cell lung cancer. They discuss clinical trial data, dosing, and management of anticipated side effects. They also touch on future agents and combination regimens. We invite you to view these experts and hear their insights by visiting oncolive.com slash insights slash EGFR dash NSCLC. And that's the news for this week. I'm Laura Jones. And I'm Justin Gallagher. Thank you so much for watching OncLive News Network. We'll see you next time.